hi welcome or welcome back to my channel so just going to do a quick little check in this morning and see where your energy is at this time so just as you're watching this video just take a couple of deep breaths put your energy into what you would like to know right now what you're feeling right now so we can go a little bit deeper into it huh. trust this is very interesting i've literally just put a post on social media about trust trust the union of intelligence and integrity okay being able to trust yourself is the ultimate being able to trust yourself is what you need to be able to do before you can even think about trusting another person in your life so let's get your runes right now let's see if the rune of trust actually comes out today that would be so interesting i love it when things align like this daggers Rado, and Nordis. Okay, so you've been enlightened to a path, a direction that you want to take, and that path that you've chosen, well done you, because it leads to your soul needs. However, there is a catch. On this path that you've chosen, it also it highlights illusion, which can be difficult to take. It also highlights responsibilities or taking accountability and responsibility, possibly for actions of the past. And it also does have restrictions around it in terms of this trust with yourself. Okay, Being able to trust yourself 100%, knowing that you are doing what feels right for you, knowing that you are moving through you know, intelligence and integrity and understanding that what comes out of your mouth, how you act, things like that, they have to align. Your actions have to match your words in order for you to be able to trust yourself. If your actions aren't aligning with your words or even if what you're thinking isn't aligning with what's coming out of your mouth, then you're not really trusting yourself, okay? So there's a little bit of food for for thought food for thought food food for thought today <laughs> okay let's get some cards in now and see where you're at so let's get what you need to know today with this energy right now uh -huh. strength having the courage the boldness the audacity to be it almost feels like you're going to need to be vulnerable here. You're going to need to um, be vulnerable to yourself. So I do sense a feeling of somebody really needing to turn on that light switch here. See the illusion that's in front of you. Because you already know it, but I feel like you're possibly gaslighting yourself. You're convincing yourself of something when you know the real truth. And until you are fully able to be truthful to yourself... And then align yourself with what you know you need to do based on that truth. Then and only then are you going to be able to trust another person. Okay. There's a sacrifice that needs to be made here. And I feel like it's an old pattern. It's an old way of being that needs to be sacrificed in order for you to fully embrace your forward movement. So what else does this collective need to know and understand right now? Okay, you might be you might be single right now, you might be wanting to be single right now, or just really focusing on your needs at this time. So I see somebody that's perhaps visualizing, you know, your house being spotless um, or wherever you your environment is. Just really being on the ball with everything, having everything in order um, and working towards your goals. Now, you're manifesting this for yourself because you are aligning your words with your actions. OK, this is what you're going to achieve. It's an energy of somebody who's, who's self-made, who's reached that level of integrity, who's reached that level of trust in themselves. And, you know, you are you see she's reaching up to this bird on here. Now, with falconry and stuff like that, it's an intuitive balance between the the um, the trainer and the bird, and you don't actually teach the the falcon or whatever it is. You don't teach them. You intuit them. You work together. That's what I've heard before, anyway. 
there's something about that is you know you you might be going at something too intensely trying to hold on to something because you think it's for you but really this enlightenment that you're receiving with daggers it's teaching you you're holding on to something maybe that isn't really your truth it's not your truth so what are you afraid of what are you afraid of because you could be stood in this power of like i don't really you know i trust myself 100 percent, and i don't need anybody else's approval to be truthful letting go taking a different perspective taking your own initiative to understand you see this person hung upside down doing like aerial yoga or something like that you know that's trust trusting yourself to be able to do that and when you do and you take that different perspective on things it opens you up to a whole new world of possibilities you're allowing yourself to see things from a different perspective We have the Knight of Cups on the bottom as well. So that could be a romantic message coming in. Um, there might be a need or perhaps you have been romanticising something that's going on in your life right now. And it's a time for that truth. Really be truthful. Because I've, I've got a feeling somebody here, you're, you're at the moment in a situation where you know down the line you are going to step out of it. You're going to want to get out of it. You know this because it's a pattern that you do. But you have an opportunity here to really awaken to the illusion and take responsibility for yourself and be aligned with your soul needs, okay? Sometimes what stops you, um, it's a thing called fear of missing out. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, well, when I said that, the tower fell out, okay? So it's almost like perhaps you hide the truth from yourself because of fear of missing out. But there's a sudden change coming to that, okay? You've kind of, you've had enough or something, maybe the universe has pushed you out of the nest. Maybe there's been some changes that have occurred. The wheel is turning, but it could turn in your favour if you choose to be bold and courageous and stand in your power and be truthful to yourself. It's, there's a time to take action. Um, it's a time for a strategy that is going to enable you to really stand in your truth. Now, you might be in a very difficult position. Maybe it could be the job that you're in. Um, maybe you want to leave that job, but you, you kind of need to keep your cards close to your chest at this time. You Maybe there's an issue where you can't just be truthful right now and you're probably screaming at me like, but I can't. I would like to, but I can't. <laughs> um, but you can. There's an element here of, yes, it will rock the boat. Yes, it's going to cause some chaos, some conflict, some issues, but that's part of growth. You know what hypertrophy is when you're working out and you, you, you lift in weights that tear the muscle and then what happens is through you eating protein and things like this, it helps that muscle to grow and hypertrophy happens. That's how we get bigger built when we are training. Yeah, if that's what you want to do. Um, this is a bit like this. You need that hypertrophy through breaking something. It has to be broken in order to be rebuilt, in order to grow, in order to be stronger and what you need it to be, and be seen as well, yeah? You want your muscles to be seen, don't you? So this is the energy you're in right now, and you have the ability to take responsibility, to take control, to own your own power, okay? And with great power comes great responsibility. So if you want to wield that power, you have to be responsible for yourself. You have to align your words with your actions, and bring that out. I'm going to get one more card for a conclusion on this. <laughs> and what it's going to bring for you is your Ten of Cups. This is a this is just a wish fulfillment. This is something that you are looking for. It's completion. It's peace. It's harmony. You know, aligning your words with your actions is bringing this harmony to you. It's all the colours of the rainbow. It's joy. It's fulfillment. 
that is what you are heading towards if you can trust yourself and align your truth with your words and your actions. I'm going to leave this reading here for you today. If you would like to book a full reading, then please do get in touch. My details are down in the description box. Um, and please do like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if this resonates with you, drop a little emoji, maybe a prayer emoji or something like that. Um, I do sometimes send blessings to people who leave comments and things as well. So I add you into my distant healing. So I hope you have a wonderful, blessed day.